hello dear friends welcome back we are here to explain the structure of the human eye in the previous lecture i have discussed the basic things regarding the lens of the eye now we are going to discuss about the structure of the lens i hope you will watch the lecture till the end and you will get some knowledge of the structure and composition of the lens of the human eye now in the previous lecture i had told you that in our eye we have a very transparent object that is a lens right so let me uh, remind a little bit the previous lecture here for example this is the eyeball right and you know that here you have your cornea right and i will not draw all the structures because i have already discussed about 25 26 lectures regarding the human eye anatomy you can go and watch all of those so here we will only draw those structures which we need for example this is your retina right these are the uh, nerve fibers which are leaving your eye as an optic nerve now look carefully in front of the retina you know that uh, you have what you have your vitreous body now this is your vitreous body right and in the vitreous body i had told you that there is a depression which is called the patellar fossa and in this patellar fossa is suspended your lens so here we have our lens right friends and this lens is held by these suspensory ligaments with your ciliary processes of the ciliary body so here is your ciliary body and lens is suspended there we will discuss these zones also don't worry right then here is your iris on both sides right now when light strikes your cornea cornea also allows the light so cornea is also transparent right when light ray strikes your a lens so the lens will allow the light to pass through it and will go the light will go towards the retina and hit the retina and there will be the image formation right so in the previous lectures i have discussed a lot of about them so this suspended part is your lens right and about the lens the previous lecture was all about the basics of the lens that what is uh, its location what is its shape what is its mass what is its uh, uh, regions important regions what is the refractive index the power of the lens the power of accommodation of it and i have explained everything you can watch that lecture also now just uh, in this lecture we are discussing about the internal structures of the lens so that's our lecture for today right so your lens is composed of many different parts but i will uh, write here structure of lens structure of lens a typical lens is composed of uh, how many parts let me write here first of all we will write all the parts then we will discuss each first of all there is your lens capsule lens capsule then there is the second important point that we will discuss is your anterior epithelium we will discuss anterior epithelium also then there is your after anterior epithelium there is your lens fibers so we should not forget those those are called the lens fibers we will discuss right so there is the lens fibers how they originate and how they are organized to make the lens then we should know what is cortex right and then we should know what are nuclei nuclei of your lens so a typical lens is composed of all these five parts the lens capsule the interior epithelium i will show you there the lens fibers that we have arranged here and the cortex and the nuclei now let's go in the detail of each first of all we should know about lens capsule what is lens capsule it is a protective membrane 
which surrounds which covers your eye and protect it fibers and the interior epithelium and everything which is present inside the lens so look you look carefully i have drawn three different structures three different diagrams i have drawn the lens from three different angles in order to for you guys to understand clearly the structure of the lens look carefully with the green color everywhere you can see here look this and here and around the lens here you can see this green cover of the lens is called your lens capsule so first of all this is very important now look here here we have taken off the superficial parts of the lens all the internal structure of the lens is shown here but on this side of the lens we have shown the superficial cover that is the lens cover, lens capsule then there is anterior epithelium and then the third layer which is the cortex and then the nuclei and the fibers of the lens so in this diagram we have cut it the 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 lens and we have uh, separated it in a, in a manner to see the internal structure the lateral structures and the superficial structures right now here we have cut the lens for example if this is your lens so here we have taken this section so it means that the coronal section we have taken of the lens and we have divided here for the horizontal uh, section and here we have taken the coronal section of the lens and we have shown all the parts of it so let's go in detail this covering of the lens the outer cover of the lens is called your lens capsule so we say lens capsule is a transparent membrane right it is a transparent membrane which covers lens this is called your lens capsule now about it uh, some important points it is composed of what it is composed of type 4 collagen collagen type 4 and plus some glycosamine glycans glycosamine glycans right this is the composition of the lens capsule right and you can see here if you if you if you focus here look carefully i will show here here the lens is a little bit thicker but posteriorly the lens is a little bit thinner and at the interior pool the lens is again thinner and i have shown that structure also here you can see this is the anterior side of the lens this is the posterior side of the lens now look here here at the pools right at both pools either anterior pool or posterior pool the lens is thinner but anteriorly and laterally right anteriorly and at equators the lens is thicker but posteriorly and at pools the lens is thinner right so we should write that at which points it is thicker so i told you it is thicker anteriorly and at equators right as this is your lens right i had told you my dear friends this is your lens and this is the equator line right so these parts of the lens are called the equator parts this is the anterior and this is the posterior so anteriorly right anteriorly your lens is thicker and posteriorly and at equators the lens is thinner so at which points it is thicker it is thicker anteriorly and at equator right at equator and it is thinner we should know that it is also thinner at which important points so it is thinner at posteriorly and at the pools so let me write here it is thinner posteriorly and at pools uh, yeah and at pools right these were the, ne the next point uh, about lens uh, the next important point about the lens is that it is permeable right 
the lens is permeable it means that it allows substances to enter the stroma and the interior epithelium of your lens how look carefully uh, you know that here is uh, your uh, ciliary body and here is also your ciliary body and uh, here is your what iris and anterior to the iris you have your cornea right so this is the aqueous chamber what is this this is aqueous chamber right and posterior to the lens there is your you know that this is your vitreous chamber vitreous chamber right now lens is avascular lens has no blood supply but from where does these cells get their nourishment they get their nourishment from the anterior chamber right uh, from the posterior chamber of aqueous chamber and from the vitreous body it gets its nourishment so it means that this lens uh, capsule is permeable to some substances right so it is a permeable membrane to what it is more permeable it is permeable to water the important factor for life it is permeable to water okay sir and then the important thing and the important point about the lens is that you you can see here these zonules right these fibers suspensory ligaments are attached to the lens you can see here and all the sides and uh, these suspensory ligaments help the lens with the ciliary processes of your ciliary body for example this is your ciliary body here and this is your ciliary body here so these are the suspensory ligaments or zonules of zin which are connected to the capsule of your lens right so we say zonules of zin are connected to capsule right so these are the important points uh, which we should know a little bit about your lens capsule first it is a transparent membrane it is a permeable membrane its permeability is to water then it is thicker and thinner it is thicker interiorly right and at equator and it is thinner posteriorly and at pools you can see there and then it is permeable to water to it to the lens there are the attachments of the zonules of zin if you don't understand this structure let me make it clear for you guys look here for example here is your ciliary body right and here is also your ciliary body and here you have suspended your lens right so to the lens the fibers which are connected are called the suspensory ligaments or the zonules of zin and these zonules are uh, connected to the lens capsule and they hold the lens uh, attached to the ciliary processes of ciliary body and you know well that our lens is a round structure and it has on all its sides these zonules of zin and these zonules of zin are attached to all sides and you know that there is ciliary body is also on all sides of your lens like this so these this is the structure which i'm talking about right so this was about the lens capsule now next important point is about the anterior epithelium of your lens right so we'll discuss that in the next lecture